All species of Bonito have a similar appearance, with a torpedo-shaped body and a large caudal or tail fin. Some species such as the Pacific Bonito closely resembles the skipjack tuna, which itself is sometimes referred to as the oceanic Bonito. They grow to a similar size of around 20 pounds, and about 40 inches long. The smallest species of Bonito is the leaping Bonito, which grows to around 20 inches long, and weighs about 5 pounds. In contrast, the dogtooth tuna is the largest of all members of the Bonito tribe, weighing as much as 250 pounds and growing as long as 100 inches. All species have some combination of silver and dark gray or blue, the latter generally being on their dorsal sides, becoming lighter towards their ventral side. Some species feature striped patterns along their flanks. The base of their tails is narrow, with each the top and bottom side being lined by small finlets between the rear dorsal and anal fins and the tail fin. They have two dorsal fins and two small pectoral fins, along with a large conical head featuring a large mouth and eyes. Range. Bonitos are found throughout the world's oceans, particularly in tropical and subtropical waters as well as temperate waters in a few instances. All members of the genus Arta are particularly similar, with the Eastern Pacific Bonito and the Pacific Bonito often considered subspecies of each other, rather than distinct species. It is their range that primarily distinguishes them. Similarly, the Atlantic Bonito and Australian Bonitos are found throughout the Atlantic and Indian Oceans, respectively, although their morphological genealogical distinction from the Pacific Bonitos is better defined. The dogtooth tuna is more cosmopolitan, with populations occurring in most tropical waters including the Red Sea. The Plain Bonito has a distribution more similar to the Atlantic Bonito, occurring in the Eastern Atlantic from Norway all the way to Senegal as well as the Mediterranean and Black Seas. Finally, the Leaping Bonito occurs in a more limited area around northern Australia and south of New Guinea. Due to its range and similarity to true tunas, it is often referred to as the Australian tuna, further complicating the taxonomy of the Bonito tribe as well as the tuna and mackerel family, Scombridae, in general. Distribution and Habitat in general, Benito and other members of the family Scombridae inhabit the nearshore and offshore areas, and spend most of their time relatively near the surface. Young individuals of most species may spend most of their time in shallow reef environments, whereas older individuals may venture just offshore to nearby but deeper habitats. Like other tuna species, they do often dive to impressive depths. This behavior tends to occur in a diurnal pattern, where they will move deeper during the day, and closer to the surface after sundown. This likely occurs as they pursue prey such as squid which are also known for the same behavior. Diet and Predators Like their close relatives, tuna, bonito are muscular and streamlined predators. They will feed on a variety of prey, primarily smaller fish, by ambushing skulls or shoals as well as lone individuals when possible. They will also eat various other species such as pelagic crustaceans and cephalopods such as squid. In turn, all species of bonito are subject to predation by other marine predators. Although they are fast, they are not always able to outswim other predators such as larger tuna and billfish as well as toothed whales including dolphins and orca. Sharks such as the mako shark, blue shark, great white shark, and more will also hunt bonito. Reproduction. Most species of bonito spawn throughout the year, with some seasonality observed with variation between species and populations, particularly in subtropical and temperate regions. For example, Pacific Bonito are known to spawn between January and May, while Atlantic Bonito generally spawn during the Northern Hemisphere summer, from June-September. Near the equator, Bonito and other similar fish species generally spawn year-round. Bonito are broadcast spawners, with both species releasing their gametes into the water column and synchrony where external fertilization occurs. The embryo will then float with the plankton community for several days, before developing into a larval fish, and, eventually, a juvenile bonito, capable of hunting prey of its own. Most individuals are sexually mature within two years and live for roughly 8 to 12 years, depending on the species. Although some populations face threats from pollution and overfishing, most bonito stocks remain relatively healthy. As a result, they are listed as least concerned by the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Fun Facts About Bonito Although not as well known as the closely related tuna, bonito form an important part of the food chain around the world, and are a popular commercial and sport fishery target as well. With much in common with their larger cousins, bonitos are equally as impressive and fascinating as tuna, with many fun facts to explore. Fast fish. Due to their streamlined shape and muscular form, bonito are particularly fast fish. Some species are capable of swimming up to 40 miles per hour which, for their relatively small size, is indeed impressive. Their speed is due largely to some specific physiological adaptations common to the scrombity family. First, they are lean strong fish with large bands of muscles running down each of their flanks. 
They also have a large caudal or tail fin, which propels them. In combination with their strong muscles which help to keep the body rigid, while their tail moves side to side, they are able to efficiently translate that effort into rapid acceleration and impressive top speeds. These traits are, of course, helpful in both the pursuit of prey and the evasion of predators. All growing up. The timing of spawning events varies between species as well as between populations of the same species found in different temperature regimes. In most cases, Benito becomes sexually mature around the age of two, although this also remains somewhat dependent on temperature and other conditions. Older Benito are known to become ready to spawn earlier in the season than younger fish, while fecundity increases with size as well. It is estimated that a roughly 5-pound female bonito may produce approximately 500,000 eggs within one spawning season. These eggs are produced in batches and released accordingly once ready. These are few facts about bonito fish. First one, what type of animal is a bonito fish? Bonito fish is an aquatic animal, namely a fish. Bonito sarda is closely related to the tuna and mackerel family and prey on smaller fish like sardine, anchovies, and also other invertebrates. The Atlantic bonito fish is more similar to the mackerel, while the Pacific bonito fish is more similar to the tuna. The second one, what class of animal does a bonito fish belong to? Bonito is a fish that belongs to the Animalia kingdom under the Sarda genus. They are part of the Actinopterygii class. Their scientific names differ based on where they live. They are known as Sarda Sarda of the Atlantic Ocean and Mediterranean Ocean, Sarda Chiliensis of the Eastern Pacific Ocean, Sarda Orientalis of the Indo-Pacific, and Sarda Australis of New Zealand and Australia. Third one, how many bonito fish are there in the world? There are billions of bonito fishes in the world as almost millions of eggs hatch during every spawning season each year. Bonito Sarda can be found near the coast, bay, or harbor but are mainly fishes of the deep waters. They may be used as bait for larger fishes during fishing. Although there are many of them, bonito fishes are in danger of overfishing. The fourth one, where does a bonito fish live? Bonito fishes are found in brackish salt waters, mainly in the ocean. They are found mostly in the middle of the ocean, not the bottom, and are known as pelagic species. Bonitos prefer a warmer temperature of 60 degrees, but can survive in 50 degrees too. The fifth one, what is a bonito fish's habitat? Bonito fishes have different habitats due to their extensive traveling and migration. They live in a large school and prefer temperate and tropical waters and dive into deeper water during the day or stay in shallow water at night. While some of them prefer open water areas, others prefer the kelp forests found near the shore. Generally, the younger bonito fishes are found near the shore, coast, bay, or harbors, while the larger adult bonitos are found in the deeper sea with larger fish. The sixth one, who do bonito fish live with? Bonitos generally live together in large schools. The male bonitos manage the different schools as they can dive into deeper waters. They can also survive well with other species of fishes like larger fish such as dolphins and whales, and might also migrate with them. As they live in a school, the bonito fish seem very social. The seventh one, how long does a bonito fish live? The average lifespan of a bonito fish ranges from 15 to 18 years. The eighth one, how do they reproduce? Bonito fishes are broadcast spawners, i.e. they release the eggs and the sperm into the water after fertilization. The male and female bonito fishes do not take care of the eggs after their release. Neither do they care for their young. The eggs hatch after three days of being released into the water. The spawning season of bonito fishes varies according to the time of the year. For example, the spawning season for Atlantic bonitos is generally around summer, while that of Pacific bonitos is between the end of January to May. There can be almost a million eggs in every spawning season. However, the spawning season can vary depending on the region in which the bonito is located. 9.1. What is their conservation status? The bonito fish is not endangered or threatened, but the number of bonito fish caught due to fishing fluctuates every year. There are many groups and studies dedicated to the safety and security of the bonito fish. 10.1. What do bonito fish look like? Bonito fish can be of different colors like gray, silver, or black. They have silver bellies and striped bodies with a lean, muscular look. They have a long tail with a row of finlets which allows them to travel faster. Next one, how cute are they? Bonito fish are not considered cute as they have a rather predatory, sharp look to them. Next one, how do they communicate? Bonito fish communicate with each other by vibrating their swim bladders. They also make sounds in order to scare off other fishes. These noises can be pops, chirps, or grunts. So, today we are talking about some details about bonito fish. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos.